Well, this is always a feisty evening, bonfire night. Plenty of crackers going off around the stadium and fireworks in the sky. It's Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith alongside me for this match. One thing that Arsenal have found, of course, for many Premier League seasons, it was Arsenal, Manchester United and the rest nowhere, wasn't it? Now, of course, there's much more rivalry at the top and Manchester City's growth has made it more competitive, the league. Hasn't he just? There's another kid on the block and uh, it is so competitive, you've got to run your club and your team very efficiently indeed. Chance to have a really good look at Manchester City. Yeah, they're a classy outfit, these, aren't they? They've shown that so far this season. And, uh, have some resilience in the ranks as well. A bit of staying power, which is what you need, any champion needs, potential champion. And this could be that kind of outfit this year. One thing to look out for from this team today is the way they try and win the ball back within seconds of losing it. Yeah, and they don't do it individually, they get backed up by a teammate, they hunt in packs, and you've got to do that, you've got to do it with discipline. This is the Arsenal lineup. Pedicek starts in goal. Sad Kolasinac starts alongside Hector Bellerin in the fullback positions. Granit Xhaka starts with Aaron Ramsey in the centre of the pitch. And playing through the middle today, up front, Alexis Sanchez. Getting bigger and better, I'm sure. Almost every time we come to it, the Etihad Stadium, a new tier opened relatively recently to increase the capacity and Manchester City enjoying that kind of success that will bring even newer fans to their home yeah they've shared some great memories here haven't they a couple of title wins some Man City fans might still pine for the days of Main Road but we're right in the 21st century with this place our referee is Chris Kavanagh the Arsenal kicked off read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception that's well worked by City here and they're going forward with a real hint of menace about them quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there Silva now Fernandinho and that's good support as they build this attack Guerra shots on here Manchester City get a corner Now, can he take them on? Very quick early in the game to give the foul. Well, that's going to be the first booking, isn't it, of the match, Alan? Well, early on in matches, quite often referees, they don't like to book players, but this ref had no hesitation. Look again, Alan, at this, the slide tackle that went wrong. Well, he's gone to ground, and whenever that happens, you're going to get penalised. Poor challenge. Leading the scoring chance in the league, Manchester City. Yeah, these home fans have been treated to some fantastic football and great goals. Bayerie. And here's the shot. He's just skimmed the crossbar. Oh, unlucky. Went for placement. Really good technique from him. Leroy Sane. Now Fernandinho. De Bruyne. I'm just Sterling. And there it is, the opening goal. He looked the goalkeeper in the eyes and said, right. I've got the win here, and he's got the goal to show that. I love that kind of finish when you don't have to blast it as long as the placement is right. Pep Guardiola, he doesn't always go wild on the touchline. Quite often, as you can see, just ordering a little change in formation. Sanchez. Got it back 
again from his teammate. He's treading it through. Sterling, fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. Jaka. That's good movement forward here. Promising build up until that challenge. Two minutes left, that's added time. Two minutes of added time. They could have increased their advantage then. Yeah, I think that would have been game over. It should have been really from that distance. Last of looking at the bench because they've got to get the injured man off and bring on the substitute. Ramsey. So it's 1 0 here as the half time whistle goes. Manchester City, well, they are pulling out all the stops again. They are a super side. They lead at half time. They've got so many avenues from which they can score. And uh, that's why they do boast this fine scoring record. Nice interplay between the two of them. Supporting player alongside. It's a good cross. Made the challenge well. Kevin De Bruyne. Nice return pass. Aguero! With this goal advantage, they've now got a corner. He's going to make a change now. De Bruyne's corner. He's coming forward with some danger. Now Fernandinho. The shot's on! Full on the frame of the goal. Oh, it's a little one, that left foot of Time right, for goal! Saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. Here's David Silva. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. The teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. We could be in. Real chance. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable. And they're good value for this advantage at the moment. Well, that has been coming, and they've played well enough, making so many chances they've taken this one. It's a, a dream day for those forwards because no shortage of chances created. Top day for them. And now Bernardo Silva. Probing pass. He's had a go here. How did he save that? Yeah, he's one of the best in the business for those kind of situations. Absolutely brilliant. It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. Great header, great save! They've lost possession after David Silva's given the ball away. Alexis Sanchez. Sanchez! Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Now Bernardo Silva. Gonna try one now. It's a good goal. They pulled one back now. And they're only one behind now. And there's still plenty of life in this match as they look to level it up. Well, they were caught out here by this quick counter-attack against the run of play. Yeah, I mean they had to uh, stick together there and come under a lot of pressure, but with the pace in the team, that was always likely. Sanchez. Jack Wilshire trying to find Monreal. Got his head to it well, but no power. Well, there's only a few minutes to go, and they know that their team, Manchester City, are going to be successful in this match. Yeah, they're certainly making a noise now, as they have right through the match, in fairness. A 
Aguero. Here's Sané. Back with Aguero. Now the shot. He's just skimmed the crossbar. Oh, unlucky. Went for placement. Really good technique from him. It's finished here. Final thoughts, not a real post-mortem, Alan, but obviously disappointment isn't the key. Uh, and they've lost a the game that they were desperate to win. Yeah, there'll be a bit of an inquest, I think, because they didn't quite do themselves justice. So plenty of work on the training ground next week. Well, we're guaranteed a lot from this team, the home team, aren't we? When they play at home, they get goals, they win, and they've just done it again in front of our very eyes. Yeah, they really had to fight for this win. The uh, visitors weren't going to lie down. Well, this is always a feisty evening, bonfire night. Plenty of crackers going off around the stadium and fireworks in the sky. It's Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith alongside me for this match. Well, Alan, today Chelsea representing, if you like, London and the south of England, Manchester United from the football capital, the northwest of England. It's uh, a wonderful prospect. It is. We've seen some classic encounters between these two and there's been a bit of needle as well in the past. Chelsea will be looking at today. Well, they're in a Champions Cup position, but they'll be disappointed with that because uh, they were fully expecting to be challenging for the title. Hey, listen, there's still plenty of time to go, and they might still do that, but I think they're going to have to step up the game to make those improvements. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yeah, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Eric Bailly plays with Chris Smalling in central defence. Ander Herrera plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in midfield. In attack, Romelu Lukaku starts together with Marcus Rashford. It's a point we often make, Alan, about Stamford Bridge, and of course, as the years go by, not so many people remember how it used to be with the Greyhound track around the outside, had Speedway here as well, but when they squared it off, they really made it a very atmospheric stadium. That's right, Martin, I remember playing here, and you had to run half a mile to get to the fans behind the goal. It was, it was quite spaced out, but much different now, and uh, a very fine ground. Jonathan Moss is the man in charge today. Young. And uh, Herrera. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Surely, Ashley Young. Simple save for Thibaut Courtois. Ashley Young, hit good vision here. Rashford. Well, sometimes these opportunities can come too early, and maybe this is one of them. Yeah, maybe just caught cold there, wasn't expecting the chance to land at his feet and made a mess of it. He's young.
Now it's Valencia getting the ball in the box. Right from the kickoff, they look like scoring they have now. Sharp from the off, and what a good goal. That is textbook from him. Well, he could hardly miss that from the right wing. That was a perfect delivery. And they got their reward for it. Well, it's a good ball in, and the way he's lost his marker there, it's a really smart finish. Well, it's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. Ashley Young. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. Good challenge. Mkhitaryan. Defender has taken a gamble. It looks as though it's paid off. And it's a shot now. Hit it hard, <laughs> but not very true. He's put in the corner. Lukaku! And the goalkeeper got across to it. Out for another corner. Marcos Alonso. Well, they're in a good position here. Eden Hazard. Oh, time to get the cross now. Fabregas. That's a good ball to bring them level. Fabregas. That's a great block. Half-time, signalled by the referee, 1-0 the half-time score. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Conte. That's Fabregas. In with the chance. Chelsea's corner now. Good play, one on one. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Finish that was. It's a very good goal. I think they were a bit caught out because that's supposed to be his weaker foot, and they kind of just switched off for a moment. Yeah, look at the way he did take it. Maybe he's been working on that weaker side on the training ground. Good vision to be able to switch the play there. On to the attack now. Guided through. Rashford. Kept out by Thibaut Courtois. Corner for Manchester United. Mkhitaryan. Lukaku. Well, it wasn't the most powerful header, so it was a very straightforward save. Henrik Mkhitarya. Trying to find Valencia. Trying to stretch the opposition, using the wider areas here. Now it's Valencia getting the ball in the box. Well, it's easy here for the keeper. There's a change coming up, and it's for Manchester United. Getting forward well as a team now. Here's a chance to whip it in. Alvaro Morata. Oh, good idea, I suppose, but it didn't work, so maybe not such a good idea. Alvaro Morata. Antonio Valencia. Mkhitaryan in behind. And now the shot. Alan, what would you say to him if you were the manager? He's missed again. He's going mad there. 
furious with himself, but he's got to calm down. Still chance here to get on the score sheet. That's Piliqueta. Morata. And shoots! Well, that was so close to going inside the post, but it's just straight past the outside. Yeah, I think he's beaten the keeper, you know, but just not got it within the framework of the goals, and he's a bit unlucky. That'll be a free kick against Chelsea. going to mean a booking for the player. Oh, without question, it was not the best of challenges. Look again, Alan, at this, the slide tackle that went wrong. Well, it is. He saw the ball and he thought he could win it, but just as fraction off. Eden Hazard. Coming towards the end of the game, Chelsea still trying to win it. Put them in front. They have taken the lead here. In the dying moments. Well, this place is absolutely jumping. What a finish and a, what a stage in this match. Well, this is incredible. They've surely won the match with this goal. The last kick of the match. Well, it's great for the striker. Just when the pressure's on, when it's begging out for somebody to make themselves a hero, he's done that. Well, not what he was looking for. And the manager now looking less than pleased. Somebody's going to pay for that uh, goal they've just conceded. Maybe the chance to salvage something from this game. And the interception is a vital one. And that is the end. It's all over. Well, that's it. The dust is settling now, Alan. And beaten, beaten by this team as well. Yeah, they uh, probably weren't at the best. Well, they certainly weren't at the best today. And I'm feeling disappointed to, to lose out to their rivals in this manner. I think he was the best performer in a good team today. They had a good performance and uh, snatched that late goal to grab the win.